Hello there and welcome to the AS Maths June 2019 paper here we're looking at question 1. So the line L has equation 2x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. The line L2 has equation y equals mx plus 7 where m is a constant. Given that L1 and L2 are perpendicular, find the value of m. So what we need to do then really is to work out the gradient of the first line, L1. So the L1 has an equation 2x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. Now it's much easier to tell the gradient when it's in the form y equals mx plus c. So let's rearrange it. Let's rearrange it to 4y equals minus 2x plus 3. And then we'll divide both sides by 4 to give us minus a half x plus 3 quarters. So now we need to think what's going to be the perpendicular gradient to minus a half well, the rule is that you flip the fraction and change the sign. So if we flip the fraction, it's now 2 over 1, which is just 2, and change the sign from negative to positive, so m is equal to 2. So there we are. That's the answer for part A. Given that L1 and L2 meet at a coordinate p, find the coordinate p. So let's carry on with our equation for line 1, which is a half minus a half x plus 3 quarters. And then we'll set the other equation equal to using the number 2, 2x plus 7. Now if we want to find the intersection of two lines, we set the equations equal to each other. Minus a half x plus 3 quarters equals 2x plus 7. Now to get rid of these fractions, I'm going to times everything by 4. So it's going to be minus 2x plus 3 equals, timesing this by 4 as well, 8x plus 28. Then the next thing to do is work out what x is equal to. So if I move all my x's onto the right hand side, that'll be adding the 2x and subtract the um, 28 onto the left hand side, that'll be minus 25. So therefore, x is going to equal minus 2.5. And there we are, that's the answer for this question. The x coordinate of p is minus 2.5. And there we are. That's the answer for question one. That's four marks. Let's move on to question two.